The Law Firm, The A-Team's Final Presentation by Lydia Elisi, Rachel Rodriguez, and David Sweeney. Introduction. It all started May 11, 2015, when the first day of summer courses started, when we all learned that our Principles of Management course was going to be different than any other course we've ever had before. After learning that one out of the four of our members of our group had already bailed on us, the A-team briefly emailed and texted as far as our first milestone assignment was approaching. The basic storyline was written by Rachel Rodriguez, with the inspiration of her cousin who was visiting Florida for a week in the summer. Rachel's cousin's name is Tyler Gates. Tyler had told Rachel how hard it was to get his week vacation off due to the fact that his manager hated him. Rachel listened and learned while her cousin elaborated on and on about the problems he was facing in his own workplace. Our TV series is somewhat based on true events and also somewhat left up to the imagination. After Rachel completed Milestone 1 and the rest of the group approved, Lydia stepped up as our leader. Lydia coordinated the first group meeting at a Panera Bread near a local mall. What was first awkward and intros eventually turned into laughter and fun. Between Lydia, Rachel, and David, it was really great to have three different perspectives and input on group decisions. At Panera, we went over the different management concepts that we really wanted to fully express in our TV episodes. This group talks on a daily basis and we all couldn't be more pleased with who our group members were. I am confident that I speak for everyone when I say we are no longer a group but definitely a team. <coughs> Meet the team. Meet Lydia Elisi. She's 21 years old female who lives in Lutz with her boyfriend and travels to USF St. Pete to enjoy the beautiful campus and small class sizes. Majoring in business management, she plans to continue her education by getting an MBA by 2017. Between work and her family, she stays very busy with school and commuting. She hopes to stay in the Florida Bay, the Tampa Bay area to work in wealth management. Rachel Rodriguez, 22 year old female who lives on Clearwater Beach with her sister. Rachel studies marketing and business at the University of South Florida in St. Petersburg, Florida. Receiving her associate's degree from Valencia College in Orlando, Rachel now is a full-time student at USF and dreams of being a pharmaceutical sales representative for a urology company called Florida Urology Partners. Rachel's mother, Jody Rodriguez, is the chief operations manager for this company and would like Rachel to work within the field of medicine. Meet David Sweeney, a 21-year-old male who's from Baltimore, Maryland and has been in Florida since he was six. He is currently going to USF Tampa and is majoring in marketing and graduating in 2016. He hopes to move back to his hometown of Fort Lauderdale and continue a life of paradise working as a medical sales representative. Character Profiles Character Profile Meet Steven Nelson, the manager, the villain in our TV show. Although we know he loses the battle and gets his by the end of the show, but that won't be until our last episode. Just remember Steve as a small, older, and unhappy man who brings people down for his own pleasure. In this case, he is constantly bringing down Tyler simply because Steve is shorter than him. Steven Nelson. Steven contributes to a majority of our management concepts. Ethical lapse. 
Steve mentions that Tyler will not get the job because he does not deserve it. However, he truly is just sleeping with the other employee and knows he is inclined to offer her the position because of this. This also ties into his distributive justice, justice problem and moral intensity. <clears throat> he does not know he does not know give rewards punishments to the right people intensity a good manager would not have slept with his employee and hired a hard-working easy to get along with intern who showed potential moral intensity magnitude of consequences and social consensus this is because Steve disregarded a well-known law of not drinking and driving he did not recognize the magnitude of his consequences, the current social consensus on drinking and driving, or the moral intensity of having to promote a good behavior to his employees on and off the clock. He also mistreats Tyler by teasing him about the possibility of him being hired after his internship is completed, which is beyond the line of management behavior towards subordinates, but just treating others with kindness and respect in general. Steve lacked the assets in his career and was punished because of his own poor judgment skills. Steve exerts his proximity upon Tyler as well. He feels inadequate because of his shortness and Tyler's excited, ambitious attitude that makes him so likable to all the other employees. Character Profile Meet Tyler Gates, the intern. Tyler's the main character. He's a 6'2 young man who is friendly and very likable to everyone in his business and personal life. Very driven and motivated, Tyler works hard not only at school, but at his internship too. He behaves in such a way that any professional young man should have. Tyler is able to work on these concepts for a beneficial manner, acting as the victim rather than the instigator. Tyler's approach to ethical dilemma is the textbook right behavior to have. When Tyler is installed by Steve and has been told he will not be receiving the position and that Maria will, he is hurt and Steve even expects confrontation or possibly wants it. However, he handles the situation wonderfully and has a very professional and mature calm response that puts Steve in an unexpected reaction because he seemed to have wanted Tyler to get upset. Tyler's character is also correlated to the moral rights approach and proximity. Tyler is eventually rewarded for his calm behavior by receiving the job after Steve is fired for showing bad judgment and drinking and driving. Tyler was in reach of Steve's proximity and the victim of Steve's strange interest in making him feel bigger than Tyler. Tyler was able to put these things aside and act like an adult in the right time unlike Steve. Character Profile, meet Maria Johnson, the receptionist. Maria Johnson's a mystery character. We don't know much about Maria or her personality. Maria gets brought into the picture when Steve is simply going to hire a paralegal assistant who isn't Tyler just to try and upset Tyler. Maria would be a fairly good looking young lady who is professional in the workplace. She also has sexual relations with Steve, the manager. Maria Johnson. Maria is an interesting character that is more there for personal gain than for working for the benefit of the law firm. She is a part she is a part of the problems stated before but sees them from a different angle other than other than other two. For she's not exactly in the position to be showcasing proper behavior like Steve, but she isn't working her hardest and showcasing good character like Tyler. She does not partake in the moral rights approach, for she is sleeping with Steve and even accepts the position that she knows Tyler has been working his entire internship for the purpose of attaining. This, show, this shows that she does not have the moral judgment to speak with Steve about his behavior when she, of all people, would be in the position. She disregards the magnitude of consequences as well, ignores social consensus, and somehow dodges the concentration effect. She sleeps with her boss knowing she could be fired and that it's a very inappropriate thing to do. Trying, tying into 
the social consensus, consensus would conclude that sleeping with your boss is a no. As for the concentration effect, she knew that she was doing wrong, but luckily she was not reprimanded for it. Code of ethical conduct. Maria completely just did not care about it. As stated above, she knew what she was doing was wrong. <clears throat> episode summary. The topics are episode one's the intro, episode two's the conflict, episode three's the scandal, and episode four is titled DUI. Management concepts, ideas used throughout the previous episodes and their definitions. The storyboard. Attached here is a link to our episodes on YouTube. Reflections. Here we have group reflection, reflection by Lydia, reflection by Rachel, and reflection by David. The group reflection. The A-team has been strong since the first week as we formed a three-man group and immediately delegated a leader to press forward into this class. For a summer course, this class was going to be very demanding. The amount of weekly work is almost overwhelming on top of other classes. But we have done well so far. The, uh, the ideas 
of management that are going over in a fun and hands-on way really make you put management into a new perspective and rethink what you may already know about management. We all as a group have experience in our own personal work lives and it's really great to share experiences and stories with other individuals who take management as seriously as this group does. Bouncing up bouncing ideas off of each other for group milestones and the midterm has been great. I feel working as a group broaden our general knowledge and ideas for a semester long project such as this one. As previously mentioned, I don't think we could have picked a better group. We couldn't have picked a better group members. Learning so much on how to depend and rely on other individuals and they do the same on you as well. As future managers, we are excited to complete this course strong together. Okay, reflection by Lydia. While not at all what I was expecting from a college course, the classwork that is assigned is both time consuming and educational. Yet the type of work is very hype and entertaining. Overall, this course gives you a break from the normal type of classroom work, but any slacking can lead to a low grade and missed assignments. Reflection by Rachel. This is a hands on principles management course that I recommend taking in class I recommend taking in class versus online. You must be fully prepared to embrace this course and submerge yourself in the weekly work. Having a great group is key to not getting behind. Reflection by David. This course is has been so far very out of the box thinking. I do prefer a course like this over one that requires quizzes and tests each week. I feel like my skills are being put to the test rather than just remembering ver vernacular. The conclusion. References. The appendix. The law firm pitch, project execution, future student recommendations. The law firm pitch. Project execution. Yes. Future student recommendations. <coughs> Thank you from the A-Team.